Hey guys, Brody Butler here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to give your images that widescreen cinematic look. And I'm going to show you how to do it correctly with the correct aspect ratios. Now here you can see we have the three aspect ratios we're going to be dealing with today and how they compare. Uh, the outer one, we have the 3 to 2 aspect ratio, which is the standard that your, your Canon 5D Mark II files will produce, and also a lot of other cameras. Inside that, we have our 16 to 9 widescreen, and that's the international standard for your high-definition TV. And that's what your 1080p and 720p video files will conform to. Then inside that, we have our CinemaScope. Now that is a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio which filmmakers love to use and that's what we're going to crop our image to today. But rather than just adding randomly some black bars to the top and bottom to give our image that sort of letterbox effect, I'm actually going to show you how to add those in the correct size so our whole image is going to conform to this 16 to 9 widescreen which is the standard. So that's what we're going to do, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just enable my background layer. I can do this by holding down the Option key or Alt key on PC and double clicking this little padlock here. And that'll turn my background layer into a normal layer. The reason I want to do that is because I'm going to create another layer here and I want to be able to drag that below my background layer. I could, sure, I could just create uh, an, another copy of my background layer, but I thought that was a good little tip that I'd throw in there. Now with this new layer, I'm going to fill it with black, so edit fill, select black from the drop down, click OK, and there we go. Now this is just going to be um, our letterbox, which are the black bars that, at the top and the bottom of the image, and that'll come into play a little bit later on. So let's just select this image. Um, here we have Ali Haywood from Sydney, I took this photo um, last year, and it, it almost looks like it's, it's from the scene from a movie, and that was kind of the idea but we're going to enhance that with this, um, with this widescreen effect. Now, the first thing you think you might need to do is crop it. But with the crop tool, you can't actually specify a ratio. It just doesn't give you that ability. You can only specify sizes. So based on the size of your image, you would have to calculate yourself um, using the ratio, what the width and height should be in a pixel value or inches value, and then specify that. So we're not going to use the crop tool. I'm going to use the marquee tool, which I can use by hitting the M key. And the, M, the marquee tool gives us the option in the style menu here to choose a fixed ratio. And then in the width and the height, I can enter 16 by 9. And that's what we want. So what we're basically going to do first is make this image into a 16 by 9 widescreen image, which is going to be basically the boundaries we want to work within. So I'm just going to drag this marquee tool. You can see that the ratio is staying fixed. So this is going to be our final, the final size of our image, basically. And the cool thing about using the marquee tool with the ratio is that it doesn't matter what size the image is. It can be a really small JPEG or it could be a really large file that comes straight out of the camera. Because it's a ratio, you can use that for any size image. So this is... I've basically just positioned this roughly where I want um, the boundaries of my image to be. Remember, we're still going to crop this again for CinemaScope, so we're going to have the black bars within here. So I think that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Image menu and select Crop. And that's going to crop down to my selection. So there we have it. So now our, this image here is a 16 to 9 widescreen image. Now what we need to do is apply our CinemaScope. Now to do that is a similar thing again. Using the marquee tool, we're going to go up, use a fixed ratio, and we're going to put in a CinemaScope aspect ratio, which is 2.35 to 1. And then exactly the same thing, I'm going to start on the left here, and I'm going to draw a selection all the way across the image. And there we have it. And you can see what is inside this selection is basically what is going to be revealed in the final image. So I can move this around roughly where I want it. So let's try it there. Now what I'm going to do instead of, we're not going to crop this time, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go down here to the bottom of the layers panel and I'm going to apply this as a mask. And what this allows me to do is I can click on this link icon here 
to unlink it. So my image and my mask are now independent of each other. And if I click on the mask, and then I use the move tool, which I can hit V on the keyboard or select it up here in the toolbar, I can actually move this mask around. So this, this way I can sort of fine tune how I want my image to be, um, rather than just making that selection and hoping for the best. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys here just to fine tune it, and I'm going to leave it right about there. That looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my layers panel here. I'm going to right click on this mask and I'm going to click apply layer mask and that's going to apply the mask to my image. So that is basically now the image. Now what I need to do is get these black bars to be uh, the correct size. They need to be even. Now there's no way of actually aligning this image. Like if I go to layer, there's no align properties available. So what I can do is I can hit Command A or Control A if you're on PC and that'll select this whole document. You'll see the marching ants around the outside there. Now what I can do is make sure I have my layer selected, go to the layer menu, align layers to selection and click vertical centers. And what that'll do is align my layer to the center vertically of this selection that I've made. And there you can see it just centered it. So now I have this image to a cinemascope crop and I now have these black bars on the top and bottom to give me that letterbox effect and they're now the correct size that this image fits within a 16 to 9 widescreen image and that looks pretty cinematic to me that looks like a screenshot out of a film and that's kind of the effect we're going for so thanks for watching guys my name is Brody Butler you can see more of my work and more tutorials at brodybutler.com